Hey guys, it's Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Welcome back to Clownfish TV. And oh my God, we've got another Ghostbusters video. I did not expect to have to do another Ghostbusters video. This I know, soon. it's just every day something else happens. It's the gift that keeps on giving, I guess, if you look at it from that point of view. Uh, now, they did announce Ghostbusters 3 earlier in the week. Jason Reitman is going to be uh, picking up where his father left off and creating a true third sequel to Ghostbusters. Lots of Ghostbusters fans were very excited about it. The mainstream media was not excited about it. Yeah, I know. And they keep saying it's a, it's, it's a reboot of the reboot, and it's like, it's not a reboot, it's a sequel. It's it's, a that 2016 was a reboot. This is a true sequel to Ghostbusters 1 and 2. And it was a matter of time until uh, you know one of the original cast members said something, and of course, it's Leslie Jones, who's known for being very outspoken. Well, there's nothing wrong with being outspoken. There's nothing wrong with being outspoken, but she's uh she's very put out. She's very put out. Yeah. I mean, by... I, can understand, <laughs> I can understand why, but at the same time, I'm like, really? Okay, go ahead. So she tweeted earlier today uh, at Sony Pictures, at Paul Fig, and just for the general public, um, whoever wanted to see it, that, um, yeah, so insulting, like, fuck us. We didn't count. It's like something Trump would do. What? Yeah, of course, because, you know, automatically, if people like the, the original movies better, it's because they're Nazis and they like Trump. Right. In her Trump voice, going to redo Ghostbusters better with men. It, we'll was, be... it was with men first. I know. We'll be huge as women in Ghostbusters. Ugh, so annoying. Such a dick move. And I don't give a fuck. Wait, I'm saying something. We're going to redo Ghostbusters better with men. There is no redoing it better with men. It was men first. You redid it with women. We're not going to redo it. We're going to redo it better. Okay. They're no. just going back. They're just going back to the original. Leslie. And they don't even know if it, they said they're probably going to be doing a mixed cast, which makes the most sense. Well, I don't think they're going to call Leslie Jones. Leslie, no. uh, you know, it, this is just business. Strictly business. The, 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 the 2016 movie did not perform at the box office. Most people wanted a Ghostbusters 3, a proper Ghostbusters 3, and that's what Sony is giving them. Uh, it's nothing personal. Yeah, it's nothing just with, business. Uh, most people are just like, why are we rebooting Ghostbusters? Either they didn't want a movie at all, or they're like, why are we rebooting it? Why don't we just continue what we had? Uh, yeah, I mean, there are people who would argue that the only reason they rebooted Ghostbusters with all women was to uh, say, like, fuck you, uh, to fans of the original. Okay, I'm a woman, <laughs> and I'm saying that's why they did it. Yeah, I mean, I have I mean, no doubt in my mind that's why it was done, and I'm a woman. And I mean, if you watch the movie, it's clear. Like, I was watching yesterday because it had on FX. Yeah. We were watching part of it again, and I was watching it with my, my son in mind because Squid King was like, you know, I don't really like the movie because if um, they make every man in the movie stupid or a jerk. And I was like, okay, and we're watching it. And he's right. Every, every literally every guy in that movie is either a an, an, an idiot or they're a complete asshole. I mean, yeah. every guy. And they even make digs about men and women and jokes. Like, you hit, like, usually like a girl. And, it, you know, they all want to destroy things, mostly men. And so, like, I mean, they get all these comments in there. I was like, oh, my gosh, I didn't even really pay attention before. But he, it does. Yeah, it's it's pretty obvious. I mean, I haven't watched it since it first came out. Uh, but it's, it's interesting, though, to note the marketing for this. So I, I really think Sony had plans to do this a while ago because ever since it came out on home video they've been referring to it as answer the call like yeah been, like it was something different they've been trying to separate it from the rest of the franchise you know but you know when she's being so mad about it and and and, and then i think it's hilarious that she's like rebooting it with all men like that's a new move i'm like it was men before okay anyway but when jason reitman announced or they had the interview with him he was so nice about it he never threw him under the bus he, he was. was very respectful to them he didn't dismiss the movie at all. He just basically said, well, yeah, here you have it. Here's his quote. He was actually very diplomatic when, when uh, you know, of course, he has to address the elephant in the room, the 2016 Ghostbusters. He said, I have so much respect for what Paul created with those brilliant actresses. That includes you, uh, Leslie, uh, and would love to see more stories from them. However, this new movie will follow the trajectory of the original film. So they're not dismissing that there could be other, well, they probably won't, but you know, there could have been won't. other, <laughs> he's basically saying, you know, I, he, he was nice. He didn't throw him under the bus, no. which is a nice little refreshing move. Cause yeah. usually you see the people come in and they throw everybody from whatever the, that we consider the old one, in this case, 2016 Ghostbusters. The first thing I do is throw them under the bus. He didn't do that. He paid respects to it and said, you know, Hey, that's, just, you know, could it happen in another universe, but this movie is going to be a sequel. 
Yeah. Um, he never dissed them in any way. No, in the original, the original Ghostbusters, the remaining cast, I think most, if not all, of the original cast members, uh, save for Rick Moranis and obviously Harold Ramis, R.I.P., uh, did appear in the 2016 Ghostbusters. Right, and, and they and were cameo. nice about it. And they, yeah, they, they were, they were promoted it. The they press. were supportive. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so no nobody's hating them. on them. And uh, now, apparently, Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, and Ernie Hudson are returning for the new film, which is oh, good yay. news. Oh, uh, good news. I'm glad. Um, hopefully, Sigourney Weaver uh, returns. I mean, she was in 2016 in like a Well, right event. now, they said that the Ghostbusters are coming, so... Yeah. I'm hoping that'd be yeah. great. And uh, I would love to see, I'd love to see them get Rick Moranis out of retirement. I mean, that'd I don't know great. if they can do it, but um, Rick Moranis would be awesome. So, you know, and there's no guarantee that this movie is going to be good. I mean, let's be honest. There's no guarantee. I mean, you will never have another Ghostbusters one, but I think the way they're going about it, creating a, a respectful sequel that, uh, you know, doesn't ignore the original films, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, incorporates, you know, uh, whoever they can get from the original cast as, as sort of a way to pass the pass the baton or pass the pass the proton pack is probably the way to go. It's probably what fans wanted to see the first time around. That's just it. People, uh, the first and 2016 one, they mostly were complaining, like, why do we need to reboot this? Why do we have to keep redoing everything? And then they did, and it didn't do well. And now people were like, have a bad taste in their mouth about it. Um, so I think they're just trying to like, you know, well, we have to fix it now. Um, and, the, and you know, I, I don't get this too. Um, where does the idea come from that if you, you like 2016 one, you can't like the old one, or if you like the old ones, you can't like 2016 one kind of people who like both. Because this is how they do things now. This is how it is now. You're basically, and this is why it's so crazy, and this is why we make these kinds of videos. It used to be that you could like or dislike whatever. Which is what we always say. Yeah, whatever you, you want like to. You can like it or not like it, and that's fine. And now it is a it is a litmus test. It is a purity test. If you do not like a particular movie or TV show or video game for legitimate reasons, you are judged based on your like or dislike right. of media. Well, and it's I mean, really freaking weird. It's I mean, immediately, weird. if you didn't if you didn't like 2016 Ghostbusters, you are a Trump supporter. And, yeah, that's uh, an awfully, that's I a was big like, jump. Uh, that is a big jump. I'm like, jump, I, Leslie. Um, hey, Leslie, um, no offense, I, I'm a woman too. I didn't like 2016 Ghostbusters that much. I mean, do I think it's the worst movie ever? No. Do I think it's a good Ghostbusters movie? Not really. But I also don't like Trump, so we got a problem here. Um, yeah, blaming Trump, blaming Trump, is, blaming it, Trump for Ghostbusters. Well, no, it's not really blaming him, but like saying it's the same thing he would do. Like, so where our movies being kicked aside, they're doing a new one for men. So it's, they're obviously are like Trump. Is basically where it's more like oh it's my like, God. and I'm like, are you seriously? Yeah. That, that's your that's your comparison. They're, you know, it, it's a Trump like move to 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 go back and do a sequel. You know, to the what movie people want, to the movie people wanted, it's, as opposed to it's a business decision. I think we're gonna be so, see more of this. I God, I really wish we had some alcohol. We have an ice storm here on the East Coast, and and I can't get out to get any alcohol. But reading this, I I need some. Um, no, this is a business decision. We're gonna see this more and more. I think as companies realize that you can't scorn the original fan base and expect to make money. That's what they keep you know? doing. They, and They tell know, the fans to fuck off. They keep and doing like, this, the and money? then it bites them in the ass, and then then when they have to backpedal, then the people that were like pushing really hard for this, you know, because there's, there's no meeting in the middle. I mean, had they done a second, had they done the, the 2016 movie, and they made it a mixed cast, mm. or, it, or made a sequel, or both, ideally both, we wouldn't probably be here having the backlash we're having now. No. And if they had just made it a, se a proper sequel and had a mixed cast, it would have been okay. But no, no, no. We have to completely go clear the other way. Um, and it was very evident in the movie that it was that way because they were trying to go that yeah, way. Yeah, they it were trying to very evident. Message. It was. They took an all-male movie, made it all-female just because they could. Yeah. I and mean, the that's thing is, pretty much I it. Just want, I don't care if it's all-male or all-female. I don't care. What I care about is if you're telling a good story and the focus is on the actual story and not some uh, agenda, I'm fine with it. Like the original Ghostbusters, it was these guys and they got, you know, they were ridiculed and they went out and started doing proper Ghostbusting and being famous for it. But their, their focus was on solving whatever this issue was they weren't it wasn't about hey did you see about those women how stupid and low and dumb those women are haha <laughs> women right it wasn't about that it was about getting it done busting ghosts that was is... what about ghostbusters about busting ghosts and this ghostbusters yeah. was about busting ghosts but busting, busting balls, balls. You know? it was about busting balls that's what it was about and if they had just yeah. focused on busting ghosts and had just left the the middle finger to the men out of it 
people wouldn't probably been so pissed. But you guys were like, yeah. you know, what do you expect it, to happen? It was just insult to insult. You like flip off half your demographic, yeah. and you're like, why are they mad? Yeah, it was it was insult to insult. One rebooting Ghostbusters at all is a bad idea. It was I mean, bad, it, yeah. is, it is uh, a one-of-a-kind film. Not even the second Ghostbusters And that was close. the biggest complaint I heard. It wasn't even about women. Right. A lot of people were like, I don't really care if it's all women. I just don't think it needs to, it needs to be rebooted. I mean, the biggest complaint yeah. wasn't the women. It was the rebooting. Now, the second biggest complaint was the women. Uh, yeah. As a woman, you know, if you, you were mad because it was just women, you know, yeah, bite know. me. But, I know, right. Um, uh, you know, this, it, it, but it was only because it was, it was done in such a way that it was clearly just to be like, well, women can do it better. So women, yeah. women, 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 and yeah. I'm a woman, and I'm like, I'm so tired of this gender politics bullshit. Well, I think, I think, you know, we said before, I think the pendulum's kind of swinging back now. I think, if for no other reason, uh, companies, studios, publishers, game developers are are going to have to take note of, uh, you know, where where the fandom actually is. I mean, they they can they can want the fandom to be a certain way. But when it comes down to it, they're starting to realize, I think, that they are, are pandering to a very uh, niche uh, audience. Yeah, um, because I think if you do something and you do it right, you're going to have the pendulum in the middle. It's not going to yeah. be swinging either way. It's going to want... be in the middle. It's, if you do it right, you're going to appeal to men and women, and you're going to... And Ghostbusters did. The Ghostbusters, original. Everybody loved Ghostbusters. I mean, she yeah. was men and women like she Yeah. Uh, yeah. That'll be the next one. I guarantee you that will be the next one that gets the deboot. I think once uh, Noelle Stevenson's show is over, somebody else is going to come along not long after because I don't they think have they'll let them. I think they'll they'll keep it away from them because they did it with He Man is supposed to bring She Ra and they didn't and then they didn't do anything with it for years. I don't know. Because if they're really trying to push He Man and, and She Ra in the movies, I could totally see them, totally see them being like, Yeah, okay, well let's wait about a year and then we're gonna reboot She Ra uh, the right way. I don't think they, <laughs> I don't know? think they will. I, don't know. I mean we I can know. hope, but I don't think they will. Yeah. So, so but anyway, 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 Leslie Jones not happy with Ghostbusters three. I think you're gonna see a lot of stories like this. I mean, we've got a year and a half at least until this movie comes out. But this movie doesn't make hers disappear. You know what I'm saying? They're not actually just like erasing it from existence. They're not. They're downplaying it, but it doesn't yeah. make it disappear. They had it on FX and were pushing the DVD sales yesterday. <laughs> Sell them while you can. I mean, it's like <laughs> I I, it doesn't make it disappear. It just, yeah. you know, it, like there's other movies that were bad in the franchise, and they just re they went uh, they kind of stepped over them and went and did something else. But the movies are still part of the franchise. Yeah. It's just you know that's what you like. That is fine. You're allowed to like it, and then you can go buy your copy and you have it. If it's not what you like, that is okay too. You you got a new movie coming that may that may or may not be what you like. We don't know yet. We don't know. We don't know what's. But but I'm just saying, you know, at the end of the day, you're allowed to like and not like what you like and not like, but you should be respectful of people who like and not like. And and what she did here was really disrespectful, considering how respectful uh, the people on the movie were to her. Yeah, I thought Jason Brightman was very cool with her. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there was no way in hell, Leslie, they were ever going to make a sequel to 2016 Ghostbusters after it performed at the box office the way it performed. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. If it had I mean. done well, they would have done it. If it had it. done really well, yeah, you'd be getting a sequel. But it did not. That's why they're going back to uh, Old Coke. That's and it can't be, like, again, Coke. it can't be all the stupid misogynist, racist um, men out there because the it was the, the public at large who didn't go see it. And most of the people that are not extremists on Twitter in the first place. Yeah. And they're mostly just general people in the middle. And they didn't care. So, I mean, something, they're not all racist misogynists. No, no, it just did not. It did not resonate with people like the original film. So, I don't right, know. We'll so. keep an eye on Ghostbusters, see what happens. We're going to wrap this one up. Uh, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. This has been Neon and Geeky Sparkles. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, rants, gaming videos, art videos, and more. We're going to ramp up the art videos uh, the next month or two. Um, anything else? Nope, that's it. We are done. We're out of here. Goodbye. All right, we'll see you guys later. Bye.